extra, extra, free DLC. So guys, over the weekend there was a competition between Company of Heroes 2 players and Total War Rome 2 players. The competition was to see which game could get a bigger number of total victories over the weekend, and Company of Heroes won by 2%. Yeah, 2%. They only got 2% more victories, but we did win. And as a result, for the next five days, um, we'll be able to download the German Close Air Support Doctrine and the Advanced Warfare Tactic Soviet Doctrine for free. Um, but it's only for five days, so I recommend you guys go ahead and do that if you haven't already. This has been out for two days now, and I personally just downloaded it today, so it'll be two days remaining by the time you see this video. But uh, I'll give you the links to both of them. There's a link here and a link here. I'll send you the individual links, one to the German Doctrine, one to the Russian Doctrine as well. Now, what do you get in the doctrines? Well, let's look. So for the Russian Advanced Warfare Tactics Doctrine, you get Radio Intercept, you get the Fepeshkas and the Conscripts at 3 CPs, uh, Conscript Repair Kit at 5 CPs, one single T-34-85 medium tank at 9 CPs, and I want to make that point clear, it's only one tank, unlike other Soviet doctrines such as this one where it's two tanks, because as you can see at the... 9 CP level, it says medium tanks with an S at the end of it. This one does not say tanks, it says tank. So I just want to make that clear. And then at the end of it, you also get uh, at 10 CPs an IL-2 Sturmovic strafing run. So this doctrine actually looks quite nice, and I might actually use this. As for the Germans, they get, uh, is it this one? Yes, this one. Close air support doctrine, which is a... It's an interesting doctrine. It's kind of like the Soviet defensive doctrine, where it's interesting, but probably really terrible. Um, so you get a sticker reconnaissance pass, which costs munitions. You get a redistribute resources thing at three CPs, and that gives you munitions at the cost of fuel, as you can see. You also get a JU-87 uh, anti-infantry strafe. It strafes with its machine guns, not its cannons, uh, at six CPs, which also costs munitions. And then at 10 CPs, another munitions ability with the JU-87 doing an anti-tank strafe with 37mm cannons. And then finally at 12 CPs, you get a Stuka bombing strike, which once again costs munitions. So the thing with this doctrine is every single ability costs munitions and lots of munitions. The only exception is the second ability at three command points, which just gives you munitions at the expense of fuel. So this is a very munitions heavy uh, doctrine, and I'm actually very interested to try this out. It's probably going to be another terrible doctrine, just like the Soviet defensive doctrine is, but I really want to try this out. But anyways, guys, you guys should go download these doctrines, the, uh, the German Close Air Support Doctrine and the Russian Advanced Warfare Tactics Doctrine. Like I said, I will give you links to both of them, um, or you can just read here and copy this link if you really want it. But I'll give you links to the individual doctrines directly in Steam. So uh, look in the description for those and go download your DLC.